Hey guys, what's up? Giving up 96 here. Uh, back at it again. This is a contest entry video to uh, Toddy Walnuts, who just put up his uh, contest today. Um, me and Todd have been friends on here for a long time, and uh, we every now and then get each other back with uh, gifts or just talking, having uh, good conversations. Um, He's definitely uh, probably in my top five YouTubers uh, easily. Um, but uh, here's this contest for a thousand subs, which is impressive because I've been subbed to him since I believe he started. He actually before he had videos, I believe. Um, not a hundred percent sure. Maybe Toddy can quote me on that. Uh, but. Um, um, for his uh, contest, he decided to have um, everyone, <laughs> I can't even talk today, everyone uh, answer these 10 questions, so I figured, hey, I got some time, I'll do it right now. So, uh, Todd, once again, congratulations on a thousand subs, very happy for you, very happy you got that, that, uh, accomplishment uh, not a lot of youtubers do it and I'm very very glad that uh, one of my uh, friends that I consider one of my best buds here on YouTube got it so uh, definitely proud of you good job Todd um, but uh, which item from your going into the questions which item from your cl collection would I save uh, from a burning building um, actually um, one time, we did have a fire, and I wasn't able to save any of my collection. Um, had I been able to, it probably would have been, um, uh, my Cloverfield original movie poster. But, uh, seeing that stuff is gone, it is what it is, what I would save currently from my collection is it's not even horror first question not even horror related uh i mean the item isn't even horror related that is a west Cra my west craven signed and uh personalized um jay and silent bob strike back one probably my favorite kevin smith movie at least top 10 um top five i mean uh great movie and i just there's this scene in the movie where they go to miramax and uh, Wes Craven is filming Scream 4 parody because it, they didn't even have a plan. And there's a scene, I've brought this up multiple times, but Wes Craven uh, says that polls say um, people love monkeys and it's a chimp inside the mask. So uh, that's why I had him sign this. Um, Actually, I got this a uh, little bit before he passed. Um, it was a uh, autograph via mail. So, um, but his the wet, uh, address I sent it to is verified as his, and that is the signature. But that would be the item I would uh, run into a burning building and grab. Um, Anything else I think I could live without. Um, I'm looking past the camera because uh, that's where I'm putting my um, question cheat sheet. Uh, two, if I was stranded on a desert island and could only bring three movies, which would they be? Alrighty. Three movies stranded on a desert island. Number one would be The Dead Next Door. I actually got this from Todd. Uh, he gave it to me last year around Christmas time. Um, this movie is cheesy, great zombie fun, and I can't believe how young um, the director was when he made it, and that's part of the reason I would bring this with me, because one, he's so young and so accomplished at such a young age, I want to say he was 21 when he made it, maybe 25. 
Uh, it came out in 89, ironically, the year I was born. Um, just, just a well thought out cheese fest. Um, gore fest, too. I just think it's really good. Um, next. What would a horror fan be if Disney wasn't in his list? Um, 101 Dalmatians, my all-time favorite Disney film, um, which, um, to me is basically the bar. There's none better, in my opinion, and what can I say, 101 Dalmatians is for me. And finally here, the last film that I would bring with me is The Wolfman. Um, because I absolutely love this film. It's my all-time favorite film. Um, uh, my favorite monster movie. I just feel that it by far is the, uh, essential werewolf film and definitely my favorite. So, yep, favorite movie, favorite werewolf film. This is where it's at for me. Alrighty, number three. My phone shut off. Of course it did. Number three. Uh, what CD is currently in my CD player in my car? Don't have a CD player in my car. I listen to my phone on uh, via cassette, but I'll will go my most recent record in my vinyl that counts right um which was sorry I can't find it Oh, here it is. Actually, because I just got it today. Blink-182's um, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. Great vinyl. Uh, this actually just came out. I just got it today. I pre-ordered it a while ago, and just now I'm getting it. But uh, it's a pre-order from uh, SRC Vinyl. Uh, red Disc. Uh, vinyls. But uh, that's my most recent. But I have listened to it in my car. It counts, Todd, right? Yeah, it counts. Um, which movie is currently in my Blu-ray DVD player? Uh, Batman, the Cape Crus Return of the Cape Crusaders. Great Batman animated movie. Highly recommend it. Um, has uh, Adam West... Burt Ward, and I can't remember uh, which Catwoman, but it has one of the Catwomen's New Heart, I believe. Yeah, New Heart. I think. Um, but great film. I had a lot of fun. Great to see uh, Adam West and Burt Ward back as the dynamic duo. Um, shout out to. A YouTuber I feel is underrated. Hmm. Underrated YouTubers. <sighs> um, DOTD nineteen. 89, I believe that it is. Uh, it used to be under Terry Delamore. Um, easily one of my favorite channels on YouTube. Uh, haven't really talked to him in a while, but uh, for a while there, me and him talked a lot. He, I really enjoy his stuff. Um, he does a lot of uh, on, well, mail, day, mail calls and a lot of reviews. Uh, he's, I believe, just started working, uh, not just, but for a couple of months he's been working with, uh, Body Bag, um, 
Body Bag uh, YouTube channel uh, as a reviewer. Really, really solid stuff. Um, let me uh, actually, I'm gonna check that really quick because uh, I don't. I want to actually have his uh, what his page right. DOTD 1986, and yes, it is under Body Bags uh, YouTube. So uh, check that out. Um, if I could meet one film star, dead or alive, uh, who? Oh wait, first, who was the first YouTube channel I subscribed to? Um, Brad Jones, uh, the Cinema Snob. Yeah, he's a big name, but that that's who I first subscribed to, and. I still find them quite entertaining. Uh, if I could meet one film star dead or alive, who would it be? Definitely Lon Chaney Jr. My, like I said, my favorite Universal monster. I just would love to hear uh, his reasoning for making the character, how he did. Just he's a very entertaining guy. So, uh, and I, let's be honest, definitely want that autograph. <laughs> um, but in all actuality, he's definitely one of, uh, for me, cinema's greatest heroes. Well, tortured heroes. And I believe he definitely should be considered um, higher. Um, a very, a higher rated actor than he is. He's kind of seen as a B actor. Yeah, he had a drunkard problem in his uh, later life. But Spider Baby was fun, and so was um, something devil. I can't remember it. Uh, he's in a witchcraft movie. There's a lot of bad movies that I really enjoy in his later life. So yeah, don't make fun. <laughs> What's the most overrated and underrated film in my collection? Most overrated... Most overrated film that... Uh... Now I'm just going to say it. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. Great film, great film. I just don't feel it's the greatest film since sliced bread. And I feel really bad, Todd, because I know it's your favorite horror, one, one of your favorite horror movies, and I, I really want to like it. I really do. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, I'm, I'm definitely for that. I like the remake. Next generation is pretty bad. New generation, next generation. Um, but Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I respect it as a great film. I have it in my collection, but I believe it's a little overrated. I'm sorry, but I do. Underrated? Uh, Silent Hill. I feel that movie's freaking fantastic. Sean Bean survives in it. Spoiler alert, it's been long enough. Um, some cool visuals, cool kills. Um, decent video game movie. Fuck, that movie's cool. Silent Hill. Da, 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 da. Movie in my collection with the best artwork. Mm. Boom. Carrie, this artwork to me is fan freaking tastic. I love this artwork. I don't care what anybody says. This is the coolest artwork Screen Factory has released. Other than maybe Army of Darkness, but to me it's the best. Arguably. To me it's a great artwork. I love how the car's behind Carrie. I love Carrie's flaming eyes. I love the freaking school burning in the background. I just think it's a really cool. The blo You see the bloody dress and behind the dress it's illuminated so you can kind of see through it. It's a really cool, really cool cover. Um, 
And if I could ask Toddy Walnuts one question, what would it be? Well, Todd, we've been friends long enough. I, we've asked questions back and forth, but uh, I'm curious what what draws you to my YouTube channel? Why do you view me? That's my question for you, Todd. Keep me updated. Well, that's it, guys. Todd's um, YouTube channel will be down below. So, go sub to him. Let's get 2,000 subs on that. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye.